y'all. It's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. Every Monday at 7 p.m. Central, I bring you a bunch of clues to make a card. If you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. I hope that you'll stick around and see what this is all about. We've been doing mystery stamping now for nigh on to, we are coming up close on four years. I'm just going to call it. In March, it'll be four years. So we have a lot of fun. We have a good group of uh, stampers who love to solve the mystery every week. Um, I want to say hello, give a big shout out to everyone who is joining me live. Um, if you're watching the replay, um, you're going to hear me say things like, let me know when you're done with clue number two or clue number three. You don't have to do that. Simply stop and start the video and make your card. Now, we do have two rules with mystery stamping. If you're new to this, first rule is just have fun. No stress. Okay. We are, I am giving you clues to make a card in the comfort of your own home. Nobody's watching. So you don't have to stress. Rule number two, let's say you get off on a clue. You don't understand my clue, which, you know, that could happen. Maybe you don't like my clue. It's okay. I want you to feel comfortable enough to just go rogue. Okay. We have those two rules with mystery stamping. And now that we've gotten those out of the way, um, I just want to say hello to everyone um, who is in the live chat. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Carolyn. Hello, Michelle Batson. Um, hi, Brenda Bennett. Mary Yates loves my shirt. Mary Yates, this is an old shirt. <laughs> I found it in the closet. I don't even know how many Hey Y'all shirts I have or mystery stamping shirts. I just go grab one when it's mystery Monday time. Um, we love Mondays, right? Because we can kick off the week on a good fun note. So let's go ahead and... Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Um, Mary Catherine is thanking me for uh, the notice about the um, designer series papers. Now this afternoon, everything was back in stock. Um, however, they may not last long, especially that um, all about autumn designer series papers, which is gorgeous. It may go quickly. So um, you're so welcome for that. Um, hi, Patricia. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Alice. Hi, Gail from Down Under. And I know that um, Inika is here from the Netherlands. I absolutely love having stampers all over the world join us for Mystery Monday stamping. Um, Michelle says she placed two orders today. I know, Michelle, you sent me that email. And I'm like, I know, but now it's available. You know, we just... Things are flying off the shelf, then, then things are back in, and then they fly off the shelf again. So um, you kind of have to. The good news is today's free shipping day. So if you did have to place two orders, Michelle, at least you have free shipping. So free shipping with Stampin' Up for Monday, October the 9th through Wednesday, October the 11th. But again, if you want any of those DSPs, I wouldn't wait until Wednesday to place your order. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Um, Leanne said she placed her order right away when the autumn DSP was back in stock. Perfect. All right. We are going to start something new. And this is because of Renee. Um, Renee came up with this great idea. Renee Paris. I don't know if she's on. I haven't seen her. I can't tell. Um, but I'm surely she is. But anyway, Renee and I um, go. So I send Renee the clues and then Renee, bless her heart. <laughs> she works my clues and go without even seeing the card usually. Um, but what I want to tell you is that today these measurements are for a landscape card. If you would like a portrait card, use non-directional DSP or simply reverse the measurements. OK, so just want to know. She is here. Okay. So Renee, I'm not talking about you if you're not here because you are here. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to stamping up, new to stamping up, if you're new to Mystery Monday stamping, I email out the first clue every Sunday um, after 3 p.m. Central. However, yesterday, who noticed that they went out at 2 p.m. Central? Mm -hmm. Nobody said anything. I didn't hear anybody go, woohoo. But they did. They went out early yesterday. Um, 
Anyway, if you want to receive the first clue in an email, you can look below the video and join my newsletter. You will receive these every Sunday. And then that way you can be ready to um, uh, join us on Monday night when I have mystery stamping. Now, these days, this is the month of October of 2023. Grandbaby number 14 is trying to come a little early some days. So we have to settle things down a little bit. I had to cancel mystery stamping last week. Um, but anyway, for the most part, I'm planning on being here every Monday in October, but if I'm not, you'll know why. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, clue number two, um, add the designer series paper, cardstock, foil, or glimmer paper that you chose that measures four inches by five and a quarter to the card front with adhesive. So, Jeannie said, I saw it. I thought you were in a hurry. Um, <laughs> Renee said, it's fine if you talk about me. I'll catch the replay. <laughs> so it will never be a secret. You're right, Renee. It will never be a secret. I am going to grab a prop. So hang with me. When you guys are done with clue number two, type done two. I'm going to grab a prop because Renee told me I needed one. I always try to do what Renee says. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> She's like, girl, she can't keep, she can't keep me under control. She tries, but she can't. DSP was three inches. Four and a half. Okay, everybody's getting done with number two. Yay. I'm actually, shoot. How do y'all like how I disappear? <laughs> I'm actually going to get another piece because I want to show you two different things. Uh, let's see. going to be a teaching mystery stamping. Sometimes y'all like my props. Okay, so I have two pieces, so I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, what is the next clue? Okay, yeah, hang on just a second. I told you on clue number one that I wanted you to have a snack and a water bottle or cup. In the comment, what is your snack? While I gather the prop. Who said that they didn't need a prop for clue number two? <laughs> y'all, y'all are funny. Ooh, Ann has a cafe mocha. Jackie has a cookie. Um, Debbie has goldfish. Donna has M&Ms. Ooh, Charlotte has chocolate covered pecans. Um, wait, 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 hold on. No, Leanne has chocolate covered raisins. Cindy doesn't have a snack. She just finished dinner. Okay, Cindy, no problem. Ooh, candy corn. Deborah has candy corn. Now, Deborah, do you have the regular candy corn that's orange? Or do you have, like, there's so many, there's pink candy corn. What does that taste like? I don't know. Um, Inika has a Dutch version of, what is that, Inika? I don't know. Lois has popcorn. 
Missy has Halloween candy corn. You guys, you did good. You, you minded me. You got your snack. Okay, so water bottle or cup? I basically... There's water in that cup. <laughs> I didn't want that. All right. So I needed you to have a water bottle or cup for clue number three. Oh, Michelle says she is finishing up dinner. So her snack is vegetable stir fry with added chicken. There you go. Nancy's got salted peanuts. Y'all. Okay. I have a question. Those of you who are doing this live with me, do you have snacks like this every week? Or is this just because I told you to? I'm just curious. Anita says water bottle, alkaline water. There you go. Helen has a cup of water. I just think it's funny that you guys all have snacks. Michelle says, um, and there I thought the cup was from my coffee. <laughs> a water bottle. Carol says pretty much every week she has a snack. Okay. Deborah says, because I told you to. Perfect. All right. Clue number three. Take the DSP that measures three inches by four and a quarter. Use the water bottle or cup and place on the top right corner. Use the pencil to trace the cup to create a semicircle on the corner. If you can't see the pencil, Mark, use a Sharpie. Don't circle the whole cup. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to do this for you. Okay, so what we want, oh, where's my pencil? Pencil. <laughs> I got everything ready for my prop but the pencil. There we go. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to trace off the corner. Can y'all see that? Like that. Okay. Mary says, I will pay for Weight Watchers, and sometimes I even follow it. Not to not. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Okay, so that is clue number three, all right? And that's why I said if you can't see it because of the DSP, then um, use a Sharpie, okay? So just kind of want to measure, I mean measure, circle that like that if you're using that side, Okay. So <clears throat> when you're done with clue number three, type done three. <laughs> oh, I guess I, I did. I drew on my paper. That's okay. Ah, oh, Linda has famous Amos cookies. Okay, so I did have some cookies before we started because all of a sudden I had this hunger pain and, um, I will show you what kind of cookies I had because they're like my new favorite addiction. And they do remind me of Famous Amos. These are chocolate chips with almond flour. So I try to have snacks in the house that my daughter who's pregnant um, that she can have. And since she has gluten and dairy issues. So we try to have that in the house and those are yummy. Just going to say, <clears throat> uh, yes, Cindy, uh, clue number two told you to add that to the card front with adhesive. Okay. So you're, whatever you decided to do, whether you did foils or uh, card stock, whatever you decided to do for the four inch by five and a quarter, you need to add that to the card front with adhesive. Okay. Uh, Keith Ann, right now we're just doing the one corner. <clears throat> we are just doing um, top right, right here, top right. Look at me. I look like a teacher grading myself here. Um, okay. Different sizes for clue number three. What? Three inch by four and a quarter. What does that mean? Different sizes. Gail says she can't stamp and snack. <laughs> but we are having leftover turkey from our Thanksgiving. Okay. 
I forgot that I had Ghirardelli chocolates, a Ghirardelli chocolate square right after dinner. Oh, I love Ghirardelli chocolates. Okay. Slightly rogue already used a corner rounder punch, Jay Marie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clue number four, use the same T DSP in the, in the water bottle. And now we're going to do the left bottom. We're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's funny that Jay Marie said that. Do, do, do. Okay. Because that would have been an option. Oh, man, I think I got a different email. Uh-oh. Yeah. This is last week's clue, clue number two, a clue number two, for October 2nd, and we're redoing it on October 9th because we missed last week. On the email. I don't have three inches by four and a half on your email. What? How are you? How about the rest of y'all? Are y'all all good? Okay. I'm seeing some dens with four, so I think we're good. <laughs> all good. All good. Okay. <clears throat> Clue number four. Now I want you to snip off the circles on the pencil or Sharpie lines. Okay. So just like this. All right. So we're doing that. And uh, was it Jay Marie who said that she used a circle square or a corner rounder? I did not know if everybody had the new circle punches. So that's why I gave you this way to do it. You can also use the larger circle punch. Let me get this in here. And you can do the same thing. But again, I didn't know, you know, when I make these clues, I'm trying to be as generic as possible because I tell you to use the supplies you have at home. And not everybody may have that large circle. Okay. Circle punch. So there you go. Now on this one, I probably need to get out my eraser if you need to do that too. Um, and clean up that corner. I always like using one of those white erasers, not the ones on the pencil because it always smears. I don't like those. But just kind of clean it up if you need to. Okay. How are we doing? When you're done with five, type done five. Paula Rice said she's done with five and she erased two. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. <clears throat> I want to tell y'all, those who are joining me live and those who are watching the replay, I got a UPS order in today, and I'd be more than happy to share with y'all my haul, not a haul, my order, um, if you want, at the end of Mystery Stamping. So I will show you what I got and when you can get it, because that's what's so important. I got an email today. Someone was looking for the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. Um, if you were part of the um, World Card Making Day with Stampin' Up! over the weekend, they demonstrated it, and so then people are trying to buy it. Yeah, I can't buy that until November. So we'll go over all that at the end. Um, so yeah, yeah, yes, please. Y'all like that idea. Y'all like it when I show you extra stuff, don't you? <laughs> um, gingerbread. Please share your new order. I will. Uh, what did I miss on gingerbread? Hold on. Let me go back up. Enika is talking about gingerbread. Marsha, I know. I love my wide eraser. I hear you. Um, here we go. Let me show this. Um, oh, the bookkin. 
I don't, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that. Are honey sweetened German cakes molded cookie or cookie or bar cookie that become a part of Germany's Christmas traditions? They're similar to gingerbread. Yummy. Okay. Thank you. Renee is such, she's so full of knowledge. Google is her best friend too, I think, but she's very smart. All right. I think we are done and we can move on. No, you should not have two pieces cut. I was just showing you two different ways to do it. You could trace it or you could use a punch. Do not, you do not need two. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Anita. Didn't mean to confuse you. I can easily confuse myself, so I don't mean to confuse you. All right. I know, Anita, doesn't that sound yummy? Clue number seven, stamp your image on the basic white scrap and color it if needed. Now, um, there, nope, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it till the end. When I show y'all my card, remind me, I was going to tell you something on clue number seven. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I know, Marsha, isn't it something different? You know, just the rounded corners just gives things. And I mean, you could do all the corners, I guess. I could have. But I really like that. It's just unique. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Renee says, my knowledge of typing into Google surpasses all other talents that I have. But yeah, I'm pretty smart, too. <laughs> Google is her best friend. Um, Inika says the Dutch version had a lot of allspice flavor more than the German kind. Gotcha. Okay. What about clue number six? Clue number six was to do the rounded corners. Um, oh, I just skipped right over it, didn't I? <laughs> you know, I really don't know why y'all let me do this. <laughs> Clue number six, add the rounded corner DSP to the card front with adhesive. I just turned the page, didn't I? This is what happens when I'm trying to read and do this. I'm just going to sit down for a minute and y'all just tell me when you've done clue number six and clue number seven. <laughs> oh, goodness. First of all, can I just tell y'all, God knew what he was doing when he gave young babies, toddlers to young women. <laughs> I have chased two little kids around this weekend and yesterday I flat hit a wall. I was so tired. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this baby is tired. Um, so yeah, some days I just feel like I don't know if I'm coming or going and clearly Cindy says, because we have so much fun with you. I showed it, didn't I, Marvin? And I just turned the page. Yeah. I'm like, y'all catch that? Y'all catch that number six? I just turned it. <laughs> oh, my, my. Well, you know, if nothing else, I am highly, highly entertaining, right? I might be annoying, but <laughs> highly entertaining. If you're new to my channel and you're catching me doing all this, it's typical. It's typical. But you know what? I'm just human. I'm just human. And I'm doing my, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Beth Bruner says she had an interruption. So I'm behind. I'll just have to watch the replay. Beth, are you at clue number six and seven? Cause I have both of those on the screen. Um, hi, Linda Carver from Idaho. Michelle. Michelle's so sweet. She says, I'm never annoying. I'm just entertaining. I'm just fun. <laughs> oh yeah. Virginia, Virginia Babson says that I am very entertaining. You know, I, I always called myself a teacher until they let me behind this camera. And now I can say I'm a teaching entertainer. <laughs> and if you just happen to like what I'm teaching or entertaining you with, and you want to buy it, that's great. That's great. <laughs> oh my gosh. We do have fun. 
Nancy says, I wouldn't have you any other way. Yay. I just love you guys. Thank you. All right. So Cindy is done with six and seven. How about anybody else? Done six and seven. Type in the um, chat so that we can move on maybe to clue number eight. <laughs> Sharon says, Sharon. Sharon Barry says, Sharon, don't ever apologize. You're just like the rest of us. We're forever goofing up. I, I do goof up. You're right, my friend. I do. Trish Lappin says, you are funny. <laughs> Michelle is done with six and seven. Deborah's done with six and seven. And Gail, I love you too. She says she loves me and um, my entertainment. Okay. It looks like people are getting done with six and seven. So we're going to, we're going to start to move on here. If you need me to, to rewind, let me know. <laughs> You know, just catching up on emails from the weekend is enough to drive you crazy. Like, I unsubscribe from a million emails, and then I get two million in its place. What is that about? All these, I'm like, would y'all quit selling my email? <laughs> Clue number eight, use dies, punches, or snips to cut out your stamped image. Deborah says, it is always fun with Sharon and we giggle along with her. I'm so glad. I hope that I put a smile on your face and that I inspire you in some way, whether you're joining me on Mystery Stamping on Mondays or stamping with me on Thursday nights. <clears throat> Wanda says, the first two evenings I watched you and I was hooked by your entertaining personality. Oh, I'm so glad, Wanda. And Wanda, I'm glad you came back the second time. That says a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Trish Lappin says, I can only imagine how I would be trying to do what you do. You are great and we still learn. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Jeannie says, uh, don't be perfect. We wouldn't enjoy you as much. We love that you're not perfect. Girl, I guess you're madly in love with me because I am not perfect. <laughs> Uh, hi, Deb. I'm glad you popped in. She said she forgot about tonight. She'll watch the replay. Uh, Anita says, you always bring sunshine to my day. I'm so glad. Even when I don't wear like a yellow shirt, I bring sunshine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. What did Renee says? What did Renee say? I missed it. How do I miss that? Renee's, Renee's comments just go flying by the screen. Um, Sharon Armstrong, let me entertain you. Let me make you smile. Let me do a few tricks, some old and then some new tricks. I'm very versatile. <laughs> oh, Renee. Kay Irene says, this is always a party night for me. <laughs> let me entertain you. No, I won't sing. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know where I, that's Renee's fault. That is totally Renee's fault. I'm going to blame her for that. <clears throat> okay. All right. Melinda says, I love watching you. It's always fun from West Virginia. Yay. Oh, I keep it real, mm -hmm, Margaret. Mm -hmm. I just keep it real. Clue number nine, add your image to the card front. I said on the left side of the three inch by four and a half, but depending on how big your image is, it may be more centered. So try not to be, you know, try to use your imagination, your creativity, and put that image where you need it to be, okay? Because um, I realized that my image is kind of bigger on my second card that I made. So, um, yeah. Cindy said, girl, you could wear a cloudy shirt and you'd still make our Mondays happy. Aw, Cindy, thank you. <clears throat> if you are new to my channel, how can you help me out? You can help me out by subscribing below or commenting, giving me a thumbs up. YouTube thinks that when y'all do that, ha, this must be a good video to watch. That's how you can help me. Uh, let's see. 
Michelle says, you have a lot of extremely fast workers watching you. I'm still trying to get my two things cut out on my stamp and emboss machine. Oh, okay. Sorry, Michelle. Um, they could have used snips or paper cutter. Cutting with the die cutting machine could take a while. You're right. Um, Teresa says that I'm always fun to watch. Even if I'm not making a card, I watch you. It makes my Monday nights. Yay, Teresa, I'm so glad. Margaret Burkett says, I missed the beginning. I'm going to go rewatch um, it fully lately, but I'm glad I'm watching this part. I am too. I am glad. Some seems like a lot of people are just now popping in. If you're just now popping in, we are on clue number nine for Mystery Monday stamping. Today is October the 9th. This is the clues from last week that I had to cancel due to my daughter not feeling well. Um, so we are we are using those clues. So if you'd already cut your paper, we're just using those tonight. Remember, when you're doing Mystery Monday stamping, we have two rules. Number one, don't stress. Number two, just go rogue. Just ignore anything I tell you and just make a card. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. When you're done with clue number nine, type done nine. If you uh, are watching the replay again, you do not have to type the word done. Just simply stop and start the video to make your card. Um, Leanne says, I'm done with nine. I'm making two cards on card one. Going rogue and the other one, she's following the clues. Leanne, I can't wait to see your card. So that reminds me, if you all are part of our mystery TX Stampin' Mystery Monday Stamping group on Facebook, you can post your cards over there, um, especially Leanne, because we want to see. Number one, she's followed the rule, and on their second card, she did it. So want to see those two cards. If you have not already become a member of that group, that Facebook group, it is a private group now. So you do have to answer the, uh, Renee, is it three questions? There are questions to let us know that you are a real person who really does do mystery stamping or wants to play along with mystery stamping and you're not a spammer trying to show us weird videos. <laughs> We are done with that. So you have to answer the questions or we can't approve you. Sorry. Um, Kathleen, rule number three, see rule number one. I'm rogue and I'm not stressed. I love that, Kathleen. That's so great. Uh, Sharon Berry says, sort of. I'm done with nine, sort of. I think I might be going rogue, but I won't know till the next clue. There you go. Whoops. Uh, Renee put up the Facebook group for us there. It is TX Stampin' Sharon. Why did I? Sharon's Mystery Monday Stampers. Such a long name. Such a long. But there are other mystery stamping groups out there. So this one's mine. Thank you, Renee. Um, okay. So let me hide that one. Whoops. Sorry. Renee says that there are two questions and an agreement to the group rules. You have to do those things. You have to answer those two questions and agree to the uh, group rules or we can't let you in. Sorry. Uh, Laureen says coming in. Lauren says coming in late, but we'll check from the beginning. Yay. All right. I think we are done with clue number nine. Clue number 10. Stamp your greeting on the basic white scrap. Use snips to create banner tails on both ends or cut it to size. Again, this is your card and you can do what you want. I did. <laughs> Renee's going to kill me when she sees my card because I changed it. Hey, it's my card. I can change it. What do we have this week? Who is coming to the Creative 8 Retreat? Friday night. Friday the 13th, we kick off the Creative 8 Retreat. I do this retreat with three of my um, fellow uh, Creative 8 team members, Brandy Cox, Jackie Ballheis, and uh, Connie Stewart. We have the 15th.
Creativate Retreat. If you are going, let me know in the comments during the live or on the replay. Say, me, 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 I'm going, I'm going. If you're not going and you have questions, um, there is, let me pop this up, over on the blog, www.txstampin.com. There's a big old banner that pops up and says, you want to go to the retreat? You can read all about it. It is our 15th one. We started it, um, I think, in March or April of 2020 when COVID was a big thing. Uh, just about when I started Mystery Stamping, um, just to try to encourage people and inspire people to stamp and uh, use the supplies they have, just like I'm doing Mystery Stamping. So you can join us. Um, you can register right up until we push the go live button. After that, I don't check a whole lot on my computer side because I'm working. So, um, Paula Wright says, oh my goodness, hold on. Let me see this. Paula Wright says, I'll be there celebrating my birthday on Friday the 13th. Happy birthday, Paula Wright on Friday the 13th. How fun is that? Uh, let's see. Diane says, you're the highlight of my sisters and my Mondays. Ah, uh, hi. Thank you, Diane and Diane's sister. I'm so glad. Colleen says, wouldn't miss the retreat. Been to all of them. She's been to, this will be her 15th one. Uh, great fun and inspiration. I'm so glad. Um, Mary Moat says that uh, she'll be on the 14th. I have to watch the replay. Great grandson's birthday party. That's the best part about this. It is a virtual retreat held on YouTube like this, not this channel, on a different channel. Um, but everything is on a private uh, YouTube channel and you can watch the replay anytime. Uh, you have access forever for the, the tutorials and the actual lives. So um, Michelle is in me, 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 Carmen's going, Beth is excited. Wanda is going, Jeannie is going. Yay. I'm so glad. All right. Definitely Sharon's running the show. What? <laughs> of course I am. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all talking about? Clue number 11, add the greeting banner to the card front with dimensionals. Deborah Clary says, there may be other mystery stampers, but not as, as much fun. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you enjoy my version of mystery stamping. Um, I don't want to say that I'm the, I'm the originator, but I've been probably doing it for 12 years. Used to do it just with my team. We used to do it in a Yahoo. Yahoo who's, who's been in Yahoo groups before? We did it in a Yahoo group. We did not do lives or anything back then. I did it for my team members only. And then when COVID hit, we opened it up to the world because I really feel very strongly that we all need to come together, even if it's virtually and hang out and just have fun and make a card. Okay. There you go. Paula Wright says it's fun for sure. Yay. Um, Anita, are the past retreats from years ago, still available. Most of them. Most of them, we you can find um, the tutorials on my um, blog under the tutorial shop. Um, when you go to txstampin.com, you can go to the shop button and find some of them there. Um, we didn't offer them in the beginning, I don't think. I don't know. I have to go back. That's a great question. I'll have to go back and look. I don't think we offered them in the beginning, but you can find a lot of them. Um, all right. I'm seeing some duns with 11. Uh, Marie Paul says my husband and I got married on Friday the 13th and we'll celebrate our 45th anniversary on Friday. Happy anniversary to you too. How fun is that? Virginia says, Sharon, you have a life when you were teaching. Uh, some are just teaching dull. Oh, <laughs> I hear what you're saying, Virginia. I understand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Annette says, I am new and haven't been to a retreat. Was a little nervous to try yet. Annette, 
don't be nervous. Don't be nervous with mystery stamping. Don't be nervous with the retreat. Um, you are doing all this in the comfort of your own home. I want you to feel relaxed and no stress. Okay. Um, if you want to join us, um, Annette, you are certainly welcome to, um, but yeah, don't be, don't be nervous. Don't be scared. I'll help you. You can reach out to me and I'll help answer any questions that you have. There's a lot of people on here that have been to lots of retreats. So that should tell you something. Um, if you're a little nervous or unsure, how does this work? Um, we've been doing this. This is our 15th one. We wouldn't keep doing it if it was a bad thing. I promise. I promise. All right. Tian is done with 11. Let's move on to clue number 12. Add the basic white layer that measures four inches by five and a quarter to the inside of the card with adhesive. Let me know when you're done with clue number 12. Simply say done 12. I'm going to have a seat. How many more clues do we have? We are almost done. Yep, we are almost done. So, hi Maureen. I'm glad you're here. You can always go back and watch the replay. Um, you're here just in time to see me solve the mystery. Everybody is solving the mystery together on this week's Mystery Monday. Uh, Katie says, I have been to all of them. Whoops, where'd she go? I have been to all of them and always so excited. Learned so much. Thank you, Katie. I am so glad. Becky is late. Um, let's see. Eileen says you can watch Creative Aid and make later. Good point, Eileen. There's some different ways to do the retreat. Number one, people like to just sit and watch. They want to be surprised. They don't download the tutorials. We post them um, early for you to download and print. They want to be surprised. They don't do anything. They just click the live button and they watch. And then they go, oh, I want to make that. And then they go get the tutorial and then they stamp. Others like to download everything, have it all printed, maybe even have some paper and supplies cut to make along with us. Although we don't go slow enough for that usually, but you guys are quick stampers because I mean, we can get off of one of those live presentations and there's your card on the Facebook group. We have an optional Facebook group. You don't have to be on Facebook to share your project, but we do have an optional Facebook group that you can do that too. So all right. Um, uh, 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 where did Enoch's question go? Oof, where'd you go? Hold on. I'm looking. I saw it come through. Um, here we go. Enoch says, at what time does the first video start, please? On Friday night, Friday the 13th, the first one starts... 6 p.m. Eastern. That's 5 p.m. Central. And I go live on Friday night at. I always have to look because it's so it'd be 5, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm the second one up on Friday night. Hope that answers your question, Inika. Paula Wright says, my two card making buddies and I got together on Thursday to work on the pre-retreat challenges. We, so we, um, we have special challenges that start a month before the retreat. So every Monday for four weeks, you get access to a pre-retreat challenge. Uh, we just want to get you in the mood, get you stamping. Um, and so, yeah, if you, if you missed any of those, you sign up tomorrow or tonight to be at the retreat. Um, then you have access to all of those that we did before. Um, Renee, she's so good. Do not forget what you wanted to say about clue number seven. Thank you, Renee. Let me grab number seven. Renee, I'm telling you, she keeps me on my toes. Just saying. Okay, so I have clue number seven. And I'll share that in just a minute. When, when I have... Um, when I show you what my card looks like. Esther says, thank you for your great ideas. I just watch. My sister and I make lots of cards. It's our favorite thing to do. I'm so glad that you and your sister have that thing to make cards together. I love that. You know, stamping with family or friends. 
there's just something, I don't know. There's just something about that. So I'm so glad. Dorothy says, I have four binders full of all of the tutorials and the challenges. There, so I went to um, Jody's house. Uh, Jody is on my team. Went to Jody's house last June and she opened up a drawer and she had all of the retreat information in there. And I was like, oh, that's what it all looks like. Because <laughs> I don't print off everybody else's. So yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? We have shared a lot over 15 retreats. That's a, it's a lot of inspiration. So, all right. So number 13, add embellishments to the front of the card if you want. Okay, this is our last clue. And then I'm going to show you what my card looks like. And then it, <laughs> and then I'm going to talk about clue number seven. Um, while you're doing that, I want to talk to you about the October specials that are happening right now because it's kind of confusing. So Stampin' Up! has a starter kit special. There's actually two specials. One is you can join for 35% off the starter kit. You can shop for up to $125 and you only pay $64.35. That is 35% off of $99. So normally you would pay $99 for this version or they have a 35% more option um, that is where you select $168.75 and you only pay $99. Both options, you get a free paper pumpkin, plus you get free access to the On Stage at Home in November, which is our convention. That's what I call it, convention. The special number three that is going on right now is free shipping on orders that are over $75, okay? That is from today through the 11th, okay? So there's three things or three, there's two things, but two choices, and then there's a third choice. So I just wanted to play today on Canva and I printed that out. So I hope that gives you a visual if you've been confused by any of my emails, because it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Y'all are talking about printers. Jennifer Crabtree says, card making is my favorite hobby. I really enjoy creative aid. I'm so glad. You're very welcome, Inika. Okay. How are we doing? Are we done with clue number 13? I think I need to make a card with these. These are pretty. This one especially. I think I will. I'm going to make a card with that. Thank you, Gail. Do you like my Canva? I got a little, little spooky cobweb. Yeah. Super fun. Super fun. I love Canva. Um, Cindy Wagner says, just wondering if you have room available on my team. Cindy Wagner, of course I have room on my team. I have lots of room on my team. I welcome anybody to be on my team. Um, we do a monthly Zoom, uh, team time together is what I call it. Um, all of my team members receive all of my uh, tutorials that I sell. They have access to those for free um, if they want to download and print those. Um, Renee helps us run like a birthday uh um, offer for people when it's their birthdays. We celebrate that. We do some fun things. So yeah, Inika says, what? You guys also get a paper pumpkin when you join in October? Not fair. Um, this is for the U.S. markets. I don't know anything about the European market or South, um, South Pacific. So don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Linda says, I don't know how you do all you do in only 24 hours a day. What's your secret? <laughs> well, some days I don't. Some days I can fake it really good, Linda. <laughs> Yesterday, I literally hit a wall and I don't ever take a nap. I went and got in my cozy chair and I just sat there and I went 
and I was out. And then I woke up and I got up and I did something that I haven't done in a long time. I made a wreath for my front door. I was so happy. I bought the supplies in August. So I was super happy that I was able to get that done. Um, ah, okay. So I'm sorry, Cindy. That's why you asked that question. Hey, girl, I'd love to be your upline. Come talk to me. Um, Sharon Berry says, I did end up going rogue, but I love the results. Thank you for mystery stamping. The challenges are what keep me going. You are very, very welcome for the challenges. I think mystery stamping is fun, but it can be challenging. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> whoops, let me get rid of this. We talked about clue number seven, and Renee was so good about reminding me. So I said to stamp your image. Wait, was it number seven? It wasn't number seven. Stamp your image. Ah, it was number eight. Use dies, puncher snips. Nope. Hold on. I'm going to tell you which one it was. It's in the left card. Ah, here you go. This one too. All right. So you're going to see that my clues don't match up to my card. And I'm going to tell you why. Are you ready? <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. She tells, she's like, do as I say, not as I do. That's me. All right. So here is my card. Um, okay. I'm sure I did number seven. Here is my card. Now, I couldn't add the, the greeting because it's part of the image. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why I said... But, you know, when you're making this card, I'm like, not everybody's going to have the stamp set. So I needed to have you do a greeting for the front of the card. Make sense? All right. Now, I do have y'all. Y'all need to vote. Do you like it stamped embossed or do you like it with the red? Huh. I couldn't decide. So I thought, I'll let you decide. Do we like red or do we like gold? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. If you want to hang around for a hot minute, I am going to show you what I got in my order today. I did not have time to actually do any stamping, but I did open up a few things and glance. So, oh, y'all like the red. I'm impressed. You like the red better. There we go. I figured I'd let y'all decide, but I did fussy cut that out. That came from <sighs> cheer something. <laughs> Cheers to the season. Y'all, I mean, there's a lot in this brain. And when they keep giving me new stamp sets, I can't keep it all in. I can't remember. All right. You like the red. You like the red. So I did pop mine up with dimensionals. Oops, I don't know if y'all can see that. So I could easily, where is that one though? Uh, that's not the same. So you would want to be careful with something like this because it would cover up the cabin. No, nope. You could, I could use it for this one. It would kind of go, right? Tis the season. Cheers to the season. All right. Let me show you what I got. Um, ah, Grandma Jane, that's a good point. She says that she might like the gold in person. So the camera, it's hard, 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 hard to get a good picture of uh, the gold foil and the embossing to give it justice. I always feel that embossing gives um, your card an elegant look. I don't know about y'all, but I do. Um, I don't think I told you, but I will have the clues available on the blog after 8 p.m. Central. You can go over there and download them. Um, I also have, <coughs> excuse me, I also will have them in the um, Facebook group. Okay. What I'm going to show you, if you're a customer, will be available November 6th. Not now. 
Demonstrators have an opportunity to pre-order things that are coming later. Okay. So available November 6th. If you want to become a demonstrator with that special that I told you about while ago, we could get these. I think we can add these. <laughs> Let me just say, maybe we can add this as part of your starter kit, but don't quote me because y'all I'm doing the best I can. This is why I have post-it notes all over my room. <laughs> All right, so these are called adhesive back dragonflies and birds. So we've got tiny little dragonflies and little birds. We have some beautiful, it looks like vanilla, uh, vanilla and pecan pie ribbon. This is what people are wanting. Everybody is looking for this um, meandering meadows designer series paper. This looks like a painting, doesn't it? The artist did paint it. The artist painted um, the images and then paper was made out of it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of flip through and let you see all of the different patterns. Absolutely gorgeous. So watercolored maybe is what they did. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I said it's available November 6th. Get on at the crack of dawn 30 if you want this paper because I know this is going to sell out because it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, look at all these different patterns. Okay. Um, and one more. All right. Then the back sides, there's more. Oh, but wait, there's more. Just going to kind of flip through and let you see mm, not as defined maybe is that the way you would call it very unique linda says she ordered hers today because it's free shipping if you're a demonstrator you could order it today and get free shipping like linda did this is going to be a hot item it goes with the garden meadow stamp set Okay, look at that little gate. I think that is so cute. Um, and the dies. Now, let me just show you the dies. During World Card Making Day, they took this die and cut that paper. So it almost looks like a gateway to a garden. <gasps> Can't wait to play with that. And then we have the gate. Okay, gateway. See it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So there's that. Then we have fluffiest friends. Little chunky little critters friends. There's a little nest. Then we have the dies that go with that. And somehow there's also some gorgeous glimmer paper that I missed. So I didn't get that, but I'm happy with what I got. All right. So we remember November 6th. Okay. Jeannie Brown says 3 a.m. mountain time. Okay. So this stamp set, celebrate the miracle is available now, okay? This is a Hanukkah stamp set that is a collaboration of uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrators with Stampin' Up! So this should be available now. I put that on there because I think that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, this is called the Be Mine Suite. And if you are a demonstrator and are attending the on stage at home, you could order these items. Now, I wanted to play with that, so I'm going to show you. This will be available in the January, April mini catalog, but they are letting us order it early if we are attending backstage at home. So remember when I told you about this special, you would have free access access to on stage at home. I said backstage, on stage at home. This is the suite that they would let us. Um, Michelle says, now I'm going to have to have another uh, place, have to place another order. Michelle, it's free shipping. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So be mine, be my Valentine. So little bumblebee. So there is a punch, little punch makes the little bumblebee. 
Okay, so super cute little fat chunky bumblebee. Um, and then he'll have heart wings, I'm assuming. There you go. Okay. Um, there are the super cute. Did the last die set not have a beehive also to be able to use with this set? Did the last die set? You mean are you talking about this set? Which last die set? Are you talking about, are you talking about these? Oh, that does look like a beehive. Right here. That's what Renee, right, Renee? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that would be super cute. The Hanukkah set is already out of stock. Oh, my gosh. It'll be back. It'll be back. Good point. Thank you, Renee. Um, these cute little flowers and hearts. This is called Adhesive Backed Hearts and Flowers. Duh. <laughs> there is some really pretty ribbon, and this is Sweet Sorbet, and it looks like uh, basic what? Okay, so we have the beehive, thanks to Renee, <clears throat> and Fluffiest Friends would coordinate together. Very good. Okay. So let's look at our paper. And then don't let me forget, I want to show you this thing. Okay. There was a queen bee set about a year ago. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Okay, so one side, back side. One side, back side, little sweet sorbet there. And we have some bumblebees. And some hearts, more bumblebees, flowers. So this is more Valentine related. We have some straps. And we have bumblebees and a beehive pattern. And that's it. Okay. So then we have these square pillow boxes. I'm like, that's not square. What are they talking about? So I started putting them together and then I stopped because I wanted to walk it through with you. Okay. So <clears throat> these pieces all fold. Okay. So it's a pillow box. And I, I did one side already. So I thought I would show you the other. When you remove the backing to this stuff, I swear that is the strongest adhesive ever. I don't know what that is, but it is strong. If you get your fingers in it, you're going to know. So then I'm just going to tuck this over here. Okay, so we're making sort of a square, but they're called square boxes. Cindy, I'm so glad you like that paper. So if you, if you join in October you will have the opportunity to purchase. You can't add the B stuff to your starter kit order, I don't think. I think you have to have that later. Anyway, chat with me if you're interested in joining. All right, so then this just tucks in like this. Wait, you put your little snack treat inside. It's like a French fry holder. But it's the shape. Look how fun. Can't wait to play with decorating that. Very sturdy box. I mean, hard. Hard, hard, hard. So, um, I hope that helped. I hope that this, this was helpful to you all to see some of this stuff coming. When is it coming? Be Mine will be in the January, April mini catalog. That goes over there. You know, I, I'm seriously just going to have post-it notes on everything because I can't remember. There's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you want to grab this week's Mystery Monday Clues, they should be over on the blog uh, now, I would say. So happy stamping, y'all. I will be back on Thursday night. <laughs> Fingers crossed that there's not a baby that comes before then. Um, 
Ah, Roxanne, trucking along bundle is is available, or at least it was before I went live. Girl, I can't I can't promise anything. We have to. Um, Wanda, my brain is overloaded. You got that right. But I'm just still having fun and trying to share with you guys as much as I can. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, y'all.